Welcome, welcome, welcome to another exciting episode of PC Builder Simulator. Okay, so today we are going to make it on our second day. Uh, this is Tuesday. Um, let's go ahead and get the computer up and going. I'm going to turn it on and come back because last when putting the video up last week, this thing is really loud and like hurts just my ears myself, but it's really loud and we get a lot of uh, computers that does that. So um, let's go ahead and check the email, see what we got. Okay, so um, just wanted to say thank you for fixing my computer. It boots faster than it has in years. I didn't realize your uncle had gone away. Looks like the business is in good hands though. Thanks, Gary. Okay, let me go ahead and discard this. Okay, um, my graphics card uh, has fried itself and I need to replace it with the same one please a Nivea GTX uh, 970 maybe one uh, of the of those Shea ones I can drop it around first thing tomorrow morning so um, so he wants a, a Nivea GTX or the, the, the Shane one or better uh, and my budget is 265 uh, Of course, right now, I don't have that. As you see, it's 85 at the top, but I'm still going to take it. I'm going to order it. It's going to put me under, but, you know, that is perfectly fine. Um, so I need today, I'm not going to be working on any of the, computer, uh, the computers today, uh, or just, like, this day. Like, I'm going to be doing it on stream today, so don't worry about that. <clears throat> so we're going to go through a few days and stuff like that. Next, um... Uh, could you have a look at my PC, please? It isn't running as well as it did when I first bought it. Uh, I've probably uh, not been taking the best care of it. It looks dirty. Could you give it a once over? Uh, if you can, bring it or, or if you can, I'll bring it around tonight, uh, ready for you in the morning. Uh, so just wants me to like remove some viruses and clean it with the. Um, uh, duster so we're gonna accept that one as well both of those are in transit now to me and then this one right here it says I need some more storage or I need some more space to back up my files could you install a uh, 500 gigabyte uh, um, hard drive uh, please and I'll bring it around first thing uh, so he wants me to install a 500 or better okay so I'm gonna accept all these things but so what I need to do now is I'm going to sit there and move this over just a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and head into the shop. Okay, so I'm going to come back over here. Let's go from the, the bottom and go up. So they want me to install like the, the Nivea, or Nivea, Nivea GTX uh, 970 uh, Gamer. So let's go ahead and look for that in our graphics cards because that's what we're talking about. Okay, so... So we need a, a GTX um, 9, uh, 970. So let's look for the 970. Uh, doo -doo -doo. And it says, or something better. So, so this is what he's looking for. It's exactly what he is asking for in budget as well. So basically, even if I buy this, I'm... Um, I'm going to be able to get the money back plus the extra 260 so let's go ahead and add that to the cart okay so next thing that it wants me to do or let's look at the next email because that's all he wants me to do on that one next email is talking about um, I don't have to buy nothing from this one it just says please uh, remove the viruses and clean out the dust you can pay me $100 to do so I accepted it this one needs a uh, easy storage uh, 500 gigabytes so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna look for the 500 which is this one right here so that's what we're gonna go for uh, this one's only $50 basically make up half of that back okay so let's go ahead and enter that now before I do anything I know you know I play a little bit a few days of this I got at least one week into the game so I do know that one thing we're gonna be needing a lot of and it's always going to be RAM. So RAM is something that a lot of people do ask for to upgrade their RAM and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go for uh, price ascending. And so what that does is it goes from like basically the lowest to the highest. And I don't really have that many good, uh, uh, good priced um, 
ram sticks right now so this is the best one so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to sit there and I'm going to buy six of them so that puts my total at seven hundred and five dollars of course as you see I don't have seven hundred and five dollars so I'm gonna be kind of not in a good place uh, because that's gonna be a lot of money that I have to uh, fork over but you know it's something that we're going that I have to deal with now um, if I accidentally don't buy something that I need, I can easily just make it same day so it comes to me right now, but it's a hundred dollars. If, if I want it next day, it's 30 extra dollars, but if I just wait three to five business days, it picks either or, then it's going to be just ten dollars. But it's, I have to have it as next day because all these things are coming in, so it's all going to come out to be 705 dollars. So let's go ahead and buy now. So now I am 620 in the negative. That's just not good. But we're hoping that tomorrow we're going to make some of that up, majority of that up, and uh, see what we got from there. So um, I also got this. It says uh, here at Megacorp, we know that life doesn't always run smoothly. We provide a free overdraft for all of our customers. Your free overdraft limit is 100. Or 1,000. So basically, what it's saying that an overdraft overdraft means is that I cannot go over $1,000, or it starts charging me. And that's not good. So let's go ahead and uh, close out of this. Oh, just made it the screen bigger. That's fine. Close out of those two. There's my cute little kitty and my cute little doggo. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, turn this off. I actually didn't even turn on the lights because I knew I wasn't really doing anything today. Um, so right now we're looking at our calendar. So we have some, uh, pretty much going on is that we have these, these screens are the things that are going to be coming in. Orange is the things that I have to work on. So three computers are going to be in tomorrow. I got to make sure that I have enough money to pay my utility bill. Uh, again, as long as everything's being turned off after I leave, uh, the utility should be low. So let's go ahead and end the workday. And we're making it to January uh, 3rd. Uh, the, the customer's PC is here. Pick it up with uh, Square and take it to your workbench. Okay, so and then my new parts uh, have arrived. Pick the boxes up and then put them in your inventory. So we're first gonna do that. We're gonna first gonna put it in here with all this different things that we bought. So and the reason why I didn't buy more than just six is because as I'm, uh, as you see at the top right hand corner, this is level one. As I'm going and making or doing more cells and fixing more computers and leveling up, I actually get more and more different things, um, meaning like different, um, different types of RAMs, different types of GPUs, different types of motherboards and stuff like that. Right now, I'm limited to just the bare essentials and stuff like that. So this one right here is the um, the graphics card one that they wanted me to fix. Uh, the problem with this one is the broken parts. So let's go ahead and uh, pick it up and we're going to go work on it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn on the light. I'm also going to turn on my computer again. I'm going to walk away for a second because again, it is loud. Okay, at least, at least that's manageable. Okay, so we have to work with the graphics card. So let's go ahead and uh, take out the screws that holds the side paneling on. Just one screw, two screw. Okay, we're going to come in a little bit. We're going to come down. This is what we're working with. We need to get this out. First, we got to take the side paneling off. So we're going to come over here. That's one, two, and then down here as well. Three. So that opens up that. And because that opens up this, this white piece is able to come out, which the white piece is the, uh, the graphics card. Again, usually there's like a clip right here that you're supposed to clip down, just like on the, the RAM that he has in here. Um, it's supposed to like open up and you can actually pull the, the graphics card out but for some other reason they don't have you do that in the game. So we're going to go ahead and take it out and what we're going to do now is we're going to press up on the d-pad and we're going to come down to graphics cards. Uh, we see that this is the broken one and this is the one that we're going to put in. It's basically the same one which it is the same one just that you know it's not broken. So let's go ahead and put that in and now we're going to sit there. And we're going to install the case for the side paneling. We get that, or the back paneling. There's that, there's that. We got that done. And now we're going to install. And what we're going to do, actually, because this is in um, incompatible and it's broken, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. It's mine now, technically, because I put the new part in. 
so it does make me a little bit better. Uh, so let's go with uh, PC parts. Um, I'm always going to have this PCI uh, cover, and I don't know why. It just usually just sits here and I can't get rid of it. I can't sell it. But this is the this is this person's side paneling, so we're going to put this back on. We're going to put the screw back in. We're going to put the screw back in. And you can't just, you know, pick it up and just put it away back in a box saying, that, hey, we're all good. we got to definitely test it. So let's go ahead and plug in all the cords. So we're going to first start with our mouse. Next, we're going to start with our HDMI, going to the graphics card, the power, to the power supply. I missed it. I'll try it again, again, I'll try it again. And the last one is the keyboard. And plug that in. What we're going to do now, so we're going to press triangle. That turns it on. I'm going to come over here because, again, it's loud. Uh, so loud. Okay, so... Now it's turned on, so the only thing it says is just place it in the area, so I'm just going to pick it up, and I'm going to place it back in the, um, the area. Good. That's our first one done. Next, this one was the remove the viruses and dust it. As you can see, that this one's pretty dusty, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the side paneling off. Let's look in the back. There's This time, there's actually four screws. Let's go ahead and take those off. I have to be able to see it, so I'll move my camera around a little bit. Okay, so that's taken off. What we're going to do now is we're going to get this compressed air and we're going to spray it. So this may be a little bit noisy. And usually where it says uh, blow out dust, that's usually a place that you have to stop to let the air be blowed out. Um, there's, there's dust on pretty much everything you have to do. Just like that. You saw it. Okay, even on the top of it. Make sure you get the back of it. Now, once that turns from red to green, that means there's no more dust and you should be good. Now, the next thing that we got to do is that we got to remove viruses. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the side covering on. And put the screws in. One, two, three, four. And we're going to come back in again, but we're going to go back up to the tools and softwares. We're going to put our USB drive in because we're going to clean out the viruses. So let's go ahead and put the, the cables back in again. we got the power, the mouse, the HDMI, or the direct... It really looks like a direct port than anything else, not HDMI. And then the, uh, the keyboard. We're going to turn it on the PC. We're going to back away. Okay, so we're going to go onto the computer. There's nothing on here, so we have to come into here. And these are all the apps that I have and stuff like that. So we're going to go with this computer scanner. It's going to install it into the system. It's going to tell me that now that it is installed, I have to actually sit there and um, restart. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come back over here again. It's going to restart the computer. So the the files and everything can fully install onto there properly. Okay. And now that you see the file actually on there, so let's go ahead and start to scan. Okay, so warning files found. So it looked like it only took three seconds to do a scan. Really in real life it takes actually a whole lot longer to do that. But all the files that apparently not on this computer screen but somewhere else there's 470 of them that were affected so let's go ahead and clean those no more threats we're good uh right now it just says the red is um a uh, place in delivery area so let's go ahead and just pick it up and put it over there last one so we're going to this one right here is we're going to put the um the hard drive in it so we have to actually get into not just one side some um, some computer cases you don't have to get into both sides of the computer but some computer cases you do need it too so we're going to take that side off and we're also going to take this side off so we take a screw off down here and there's a screw up at the top there so because some um, some computer cases has the hard drive right here where you can easily take it out some computer cases will have it here, like in the tutorials and stuff like that. That case is here. Like mine, personally, my computer, uh, mine is right here. I can easily just come 
like this big metal piece called the shroud um it's not usually here on a lot of cases and stuff like that so um the uh, that's how mine is but this one right here uh, i take it out this way so it doesn't say that whatever this is right here the it looks like it's a 120 gigabyte hard drive it doesn't say that you know it has to be um uh, stay in the computer you can actually take it which that will give you a little bit of uh, a little bit of money it's it's fine he doesn't say anything like that but we're gonna go ahead and take that out oh, open it back up okay now that's out we're gonna come down to memory nope nope not memory we're gonna come down to storage and we're going to go from the 120 to 500 and we're gonna go ahead and put that in and now we gotta cable it up so let's go with one cable and let's go with another cable. So our first cable went into the motherboard. The second one actually goes into the power supply. Um, and now we are going to sit there and we're going to close the um, uh, the case up now. So let's go ahead and start doing that. So we're going to start installing everything. Oh, nope, nope. I am just pressing buttons now. Okay, give me a second. Uh, uh, everything's not working the way I want it to. That's fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and do side paneling. Um, so this is the first one. I'm going to re-put this back on. And turn, turn. Thank you. Screw that one in. And then come back up again. Grab the other side. And put that there. And we're going to close that up as well. It's one, two, three, four. And now we're going to actually start. Because again, once once the biggest thing is for any time that you mess with anything inside the computer. Adding something, taking something away, doing anything. You always want to retry really turning on the computer and see if it works. Because sometimes you can add something that really does not agree with whatever your build is. So you always want to make sure that it runs perfectly fine when you do. And I'm going to show you one reason on definitely why we do it. So let's go ahead and come over to the computer. We're going to turn it on and see what happens. So we have a problem. And this is one of the big things. It says error, no OS found. So an OS is an operating system. It's not something that we talked about in the tutorial and stuff like that. So we're going to be learning new things as we're going on with this as well. So basically an OS is an operating system. So where you have Mac for Apple, you have the Mac computers and stuff like that. That's their own OS system. It's Mac. You have Windows, which is in the Windows computers. We have, um, you know, Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows 11. Those are what those OSs is. And then, of course, you have Linux. And so you have different types of uh, OSs. A lot of people in schools have Chrome, which is Chrome OS as well. They have an OS of their own for Google. So because there is no OS, because pretty much what happened is that your OS, your operating system, actually goes on your hard drive. And I, and I just took out his 120 and put um, put a uh, 150 in. Or no, the, the 500 in. So he doesn't have that. So at this point in time, what I have to do is I got to turn off the computer and I'm going to have to sit there and go up to tools and I'm going to put my uh, my memory stick back in. So what I'm going to do now is I put the memory stick in and I'm going to turn on the computer again. This time my stick already has a thing called a bootstrap. Basically what that does is it automatically if a computer does not have an operating system it automatically throws one onto it be whatever the operating system is. So I'm going to back up because it's almost done and it's going to be loud again as usual. So whatever, it doesn't actually tell me what operating systems that are used in this game. So whatever operating system that this world uses and stuff like that, um, I just installed it onto there so I don't have to worry about it. Operating systems can be expensive depending on what operating system we're going for. Like I said, you know, we're, we're really getting away from 7 and 8. We've been mostly with operate, uh, the operate Windows you know, 10 and the newer 11 and stuff like that. But right now, um, uh, Windows 10 is usually the one that you, most people sees and stuff like that. So, we have it working. Everything's looking fine. 
we're taking a look it says place in the delivery area so let's go ahead and pick up the pc and we're going to put it down so now all of them have been fixed what we're going to do now is we're going to go in we're going to see our cute little kitty our cute little doggo and we're going to go to the mail so right now so talking about the the graphics card that we put in we can collect and let's look at our money right now we're at 612 right now so let's go ahead and collect and just like that i got 525 dollars and basically that just put me at negative uh negative 87 so i'm still in the red but we still have more so this one just says labor of 100 let's go ahead and collect 100 so now i'm at 13 dollars now there we go back in the positive you know we went into the negatives last night but we're back in the positives let's go ahead and uh, discard that one and this one was just the uh buying the um hard drive and the labor to put it all together i am now at um i got 330 from that and now my total at the top right hand corner is 343. so let's go ahead and hit um okay we're gonna discard this one too this talked about me going uh, bank, uh, going uh, over my overdraft limit, so let's go ahead and delete that one. So um, we got some new parts for doing all these upgrades. So now I have the uh, Zotac uh, uh, GeForce GTX uh, 10 or 1050 Ti, um, some uh, Arctic Freeze, um, and I think that's uh, going to be the different parts for the computer, of course. And I did level up because I did level up because as you see that I'm now level two. I can start using uh, six gen Intel cores, some new RAM, auto correcting tools. Um, and when it comes down to it, the six generation Intel core processors are all of these things plus more, of course. Uh, so there's a lot of different things. So PS, the next milestone level three unlocks uh, some Ryzen co uh, quad cores. Um, and new mother builds or uh, not mother builds um, motherboards so let's go ahead and delete all these now here's the fun thing is that my inbox is clear I have nothing in there there's nothing for me to do all the PCs have been picked up but there's nothing um, I think this is just a little glitch in the game for the first uh, the first day that you working on computers so because there's nothing else that I can do I'm gonna go ahead oh we can't leave just yet. We actually have to sit there, turn off the computer, turn off the light. And let's go ahead and end for the day. So there wasn't nothing that we could have done uh, yesterday to end off the day, like um, buy some parts and stuff like that. Um, so we're going to turn on the computer. And we're going to wait for it to turn on all the way. Okay, so now I should have new requests uh, that I ultimately still have to wait till tomorrow for, so I'd have three more. And so this will be the last day that I have today. I'm usually going to try to do, you know, depending on how wor what the workload is that day, I'll try doing, you know, two, three days every single um, video just to get some of this done and stuff like that. Okay, so our first one is that, hi, give you my, um, yeah, hi. I'm giving my daughter my PC and she needs a lot of RAM apparently. She says that she needs 16 gigabytes and I currently only got two uh, got two gigabytes and a four RAM slot on my MB or motherboard. Um, so let's go ahead and so the, basically they just need to be to put the RAM in that I was talking about uh, earlier because I know a lot of RAM is going to be used in this game definitely for sure. Uh, so let's go ahead and say okay we're going to do this one. Uh, this one says, I need your help. I borrowed my mother's brand new PC and I may have clicked on something I shouldn't have. Now it's riddled with viruses. I need it done before she gets back from her friend's house. Hurry. So we're just going to remove viruses. Uh, so send that in transit. Um, next one is, hi, I'm not very good with um, computers, but mine isn't working properly. Uh, it's been getting hot lately and running slow and are slower and slower. I don't think I can hear the fan move anymore. It's, uh, it lives on the floor of my dusty office. I hope it's not all clogged up. If you do have a replace, uh, uh, if you do have to replace the fan, 
uh, then please pick the cheapest one. I can't afford anything fancy. So literally, he's only his only budget to me is only going to be ten dollars, but he's going to pay me two hundred and six to be able to reduce it or to uh, do my work. So he just wants me to do the uh, replace the cooling fan and also dust out his computer. So I'm going to do that one. So we have um, dusting out and putting in new uh, air cool the air uh, fan, and we have to run some viruses. Excuse me. And we had to put some RAM in. And the best thing about the whole RAM part is that um, I already bought the RAM. So I don't have to buy more. Um, and so it's already 140 and 180 that I'm automatically going to get. So really the only thing that I am needing to buy is a low budget air cooler. So let's go ahead and head into the shop. And uh, PCU. And we're looking for one that's just $10. And this is the one that he wants. So let's go ahead and add to cart. And we're going to do the next uh, the next day delivery. Basically, it's 75% um, more than the actual amount. But hey, we got to do what we got to do. So let's go ahead and buy. Okay, so because there's no uh, PCs or anything like that, there's nothing else for us to do. So let's go ahead and turn off the light and turn off the computer. And let's head out for tomorrow. Okay. So, saving the game. So now we're on the 5th. And this will be the last day I do. Um, so let's go ahead and pick up the parts. So it's just a fan. Let's go ahead and turn on the light. Um, I'm not ready to turn on the, this computer just yet. But I'm just going to anyway so I can have it on. But let's go ahead and look at this first one. This one's going to be the RAM one. So let's... So this one's going to be the RAM one, so let's go ahead and work on that one. This one should be a, a short one, definitely for sure. Let's turn the case. Okay, let's get this case off. So we're going to take one screw, two screws, oh, two screws, three screws, four screws. Okay, so a lot of these PCs are going to look the same until we start getting further in the days. And then, of course, they're going to start changing and getting more colorful. But for now, it's going to be just basic ones. So... Again, this one's going to be the one with the RAM. Again, the RAM is right here. The RAM sticks. Um, and so we're going to take this RAM out, which is a 2 gigabyte. So let's go ahead and uh, take the memory uh, clips and open them. And I can take the RAM out. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the new one. So let's go ahead and get into here. Uh, this is the old one he just had in here. What I'm going to do is I'm already just going to sell that because he doesn't need it. And we're going to put in the new stuff. So we're going to put that in there. That's one. And so that's only eight, um, eight gigabytes. And we know that we need to get it to 16. So we got to open up two more slots. And we're going to put another one in. So let's put that second one. There we go. So now two, one of the two objectives is done. Now we just got to boot up the PC. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually going to come back down to the parts. And I'm going to put the side paneling back on. Let's back up a little bit. Put that back on. One bolt back in. Two bolts back in, three bolts back in, four bolts back in, and now we're going to put some cables in. Let's turn this. Uh, and then, for some odd reason, I, it does break immersion a little bit onto the game, but later on, I can actually pay to automatically have all these connected, so I don't have to worry about it because this does take a little bit of time. It's nothing to sweat off my back, but it happens. So I'm turning it on. Okay. And that's all I really had to do. I don't have to actually mess with it. So we're just going to go ahead and pick it up. And we're going to put it over here. This one right here is the uh, come quick. Now, there might be another issue that's going on with this. And I want to just check it. And these are just little things that you got to know about when mixing with computers. So as he was saying that it's been heating up a lot fast and stuff like that and the cooler c can and will be one of those big problems. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that off. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to redo this pen. Actually, let's go ahead and put that back on because I'm con okay. So right now, so because I took that, um, that cooler off, 
every single time you take a cooler off and you expose the you always have to put something on it and again it's that thermal paste so what we're going to do is we're going to grab this thermal paste which again is something that can take the heat away from the cpu because the cpu gets really 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 hot uh best way to, uh, to describe the cpu is like the brains of the computer like i said um so that's what we're going to do um we're going to uh just put like a dollop of it right there like that uh it doesn't really go that far so you can see it but since we have that, let's go ahead and come over to uh, PCU um, uh, thingy. So this one right here is his, but I have a new one that I'm going to put into it. So let's go ahead and grab that. And we're going to put that in. Again, I can change whatever. Let's go, let's say this way and put it in. And we're going to do cables. We're going to put the cable and we're going to put the cable in here. Okay, so now we're going to back up a little bit. So we did that part. We made sure that it's fa um, going fast. Uh, so now it wants me to remove viruses because it said that it was going slow. So the whole fan thing, I really didn't need to do that. But it's something that you could do to make the thing go faster too. But so it's something that we're doing. Um, <clears throat> Let's go ahead because we're already working with cables. Let's go ahead and put cables into the back as well. Uh, doing the uh, direct, uh, the HDMI and direct port and stuff like that. Uh, keyboard, mouse. Let's get those all situated as well. And the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and turn on the computer, but we're gonna come in here. This might be a lot because I'm right next to it. So let's put the side paneling on. So side paneling on, but guess what? Now we have to turn the computer off because uh, Mr. Madison forgot something. So what he forgot was that he needs to come up here, tools and services, put this uh, the hard drive in because we need to install that um, that uh, um, virus detector on it. So we will go into the computer in a couple seconds. Give me one second and go into the computer. Um, Let's go ahead and scan virus or get the scan viruses. It's going to start installing. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to let it install. And there it is. So now we have to restart. We're going to back away for a second so it's not so loud. Uh, I did try to go in and try fixing that so it's not loud, but it happens that way and it does that all the time. So. There's no actually place where I can actually not have that going. Okay, so now that it's actually on there, let's go ahead and run the, the software. Start the scan. It's looking like there was almost 10,000 different files on here, but out of that 10,000, only 281 was um, infected. So we cleaned it all up and let's leave. Um, and we can take it and put it down. So now our last one that we have to work on is I put the uh, okay hold on no so I messed with this air cooler okay so that that was an oops on me so all this guy wanted me to actually do was just you know remove the viruses this is the one that wanted me to replace the um because I thought it was weird because he wanted me to replace it he wanted me to dust it but it didn't look like it needed dusting so let's go ahead and take the side paneling so that was a big goof on my part I guess that's what happens when you have more than one order, I guess. Not really. I'm able to multitask with these things. Uh, one cool thing is, is that, you know, I'm, I'm getting three packages at once. You know, once I get to certain levels, I can actually sit there and be working on three computers at once. So it's actually pretty cool. So let's go ahead and dust things out. And we're waiting for this to turn green. So it's green now. So we're done with that. Now we actually have to work with the cable management. Um, we're going to go up. We're going to come out. Um, well, not really cable management. We're going to take that off. And we're going to take this off. And what we're going to do now is we're going to, again, on this one, because we took the CPU off of this one, we're going to take that out, 
and we're gonna re-put the um, the new cooler. So this one's broken, so we're gonna automatically sell it. And this is the new one. We're gonna go ahead and put this on. Um, again, let's go ahead and flip it this way and put it on. Oh, I had it on, but it took it off because I was trying to put the cables to it, but that didn't really work out that well. Let's put it back on again. This time we're just gonna put it this way. Um, let's go ahead and install the cables. Okay, again, because of the simple fact that I already went into this thing, I actually have to turn it on as well. So let's go ahead and turn everything, uh, plug everything back in. Again, this can be a, like a, um, a timely thing, trying to get all these planes plugged in. And later on, for some other reason, I'll get the ability where the second I set cables, everything just plugs in automatically. So I don't even have to worry. So we have all that going, so I'm going to go ahead and press triangle to start the computer and we're going to come back down to PC parts and go ahead and just start <clears throat> start putting everything back together as the computer is loading up. Okay, so everything's screwed back in, everything is good. So we have a cool background there um, and, you know, new case and everything, so right now it says, says place in the uh, delivery area area so let's go ahead and do that pick it up and we're gonna put it down so all three of them were fixed let's go ahead and head into the cute little doggo and kitty cat and we're gonna look at our emails so we got a few things going on down here so let's go ahead and start with the first one so this is the one where they told me to upgrade their RAM let's go ahead and collect 300 off of that so that's $300 right there that I didn't even actually have to spend on parts yesterday. Now, granted, I did spend that when I went up to that 700, negative 700 mount, but now I'm in the, uh, the, the clear. Um, this one is a good one too. It's just sitting there and, um, ooh, excuse me. I had to fix the, uh, the issue with the viruses. So he gave me 200 for the labor of doing that come back down to this one again and I'm gonna remove this one uh, and this the last one is uh, not very really good with computers it says that it was uh, very dusty so we need to repair uh, replace this air cooler and clean out dust so we're gonna go ahead and complete that because I did finish that and I'm gonna discard that so I'm only halfway done with level 2 uh, but I already have some new requests in and these new requests are gonna be something that I will start on uh, on the next episode. So this is one of our first urgent ones is I uh, I heard you work for computers. I need my computers cl um, clean. Oh, I need my computer cleaning. It is something you offer. It seems to be running quite warm. Um, is 1-8-2018, three days, a reasonable deadline. It's not as quick as it used to be. It looks like a bit of a uh, blend in there. It looks a little bit bland in there. Some plastic gray cables might look uh, nicer. So this one actually wants me to actually change some of the cords or just one cord to have a, a plastic gray uh, cable in it. So basically what this one wants me to do at the end is that uh, it seems like it's running a bit slow. So there might be a virus. It's not telling me that there's a virus, but it's dusty and it wants me to replace some lines. So let's go ahead and then accept this one. Our next one is, uh, I heard you're working with customers. My computer is super sluggish. I was hoping that 16 gigabytes of memory, uh, if that's, uh, if that's too stretched to that, uh, if you can stretch to that, uh, I never cleaned it out. Is that okay? I heard, um, have you heard of team group? They meant to be pretty good. So yeah, so they just want me to add more RAM into this one, and again, they're just wanting me to add RAM and, you know, dust the computer, I guess, or see if there's any issues with the, um, um, the viruses, so we're just going to go accept that one because that's just easy money right there. And those are the only two things. The rest of these are just parts that I get for completing things. So let's go ahead and um, discard, well, yeah, discard all those. Okay, and both of those. So let's go ahead and start working with some of these. 
So I already have the virus scanner and I already have the 16 gigabytes, so we're good there. Let's look at this one. This one right here is we need to uh, running quite warm, so I probably have to pick up the um, the the air cooler, put a dab of uh, thermal paste on there, and also put it back on. Um, so one thing that it wants me to get is let's go ahead and head into the shop and cables. So what they want me to do is get let's move this over. It says plastic, uh, plastic um, light gray. So it doesn't exactly tell me what type. It just says plastic light gray. But I already own that. So just doesn't have the actual cord it needs. Okay, no, no, that's that's perfectly fine. Um, so then what we're gonna do is. Go ahead and hit exit. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hit up here. Let's go ahead and come down to cables. So he needs a sleeve plastic light gray. So this is the one that I need to put into the computer and we're good. So both of these are looking like it's gonna be an easy day when we first come back. So let's go ahead and close the light off and let's head over and leave for the day because I don't have to buy nothing. So we should be good with that. Um, so let's go ahead and end the day. It's going to be saving. And so what we're going to do is, uh, it's actually going to be the end of our episode today. I did work on a few, uh, a few days. Again, we started on the second. We went through Wednesday, Tuesday, or bleh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And now we're about to start back up on Monday. So when we get back into next week's episode, uh, we're going to start that. We're going to, again, we're going to try doing at least three episodes, or at least two episodes. Three would be, you know up there uh if i happen to run past 45 minutes that's perfectly fine i'm going to come close to it this episode so I, like i said i hope you guys are actually really enjoying this uh series i know the first episode just you know went over the basics of you know how to put computers together and whatnot this one actually you know i went into it and actually um did some of the the requests that people were having so that was really really fun definitely to show you guys um, showing you what a, like a lot of uh, people who actually sit there and have repair services and stuff like that show you something of what they go through and how they fix things and stuff like that uh, going on further it, it will start getting harder and harder the game will and having me um, add more things put more things in um, so on and so forth but you guys get to see all of that on every single episode i'm really enjoying this game again i hope you guys are really enjoying it too um, if you have any questions about any of those computers, any computer questions or anything like that, please let me know, write a comment, uh, like the video, so on and so forth. But with that being said, thank you all for coming out and watching this week's episode. You guys are amazing and you guys have a wonderful day. With that being said, Mr. Madison is out.